the World Anti-Doping Agency placed Russia's fate for the upcoming Winter Olympics on perilous ground, refusing to reinstate the country's suspended anti-doping operation while Russia remained insistent the government is not to blame. At its meeting Thursday in South Korea, WADA handed Russia the equivalent of a failing grade, saying two key requirements for reinstating the Russian anti-doping agency had not been fulfilled. We can't walk away from the commitments, said Craig Reed, the chairman of WADA and also a member of the International Olympic Committee, which will ultimately decide Russia's fate. Story continues below advertisement. Reed refused to be drawn in on what impact Thursday's decision might have on the IOC. We do not have the right to decide who takes part in international competition, he said. I am quite certain that the IOC would prefer that Ruzada was compliant. The IOC said its executive board, due to meet December 5 to 7, will take all the circumstances, including all the measures to ensure a level playing field at the Olympic Winter Games 2018, into consideration when it decides on the participation of the Russian athletes. Among those circumstances will be Russia's continued denial that a state-sponsored program existed. Leaders in the country have depicted the doping program that marred the 2014 Games in Sochi as the work of individuals, not the government. Alexander Zhukov, the president of the Russian Olympic Committee and also a member of the IOC, doubled down on that Thursday, telling WADA members that we absolutely deny the existence of a state-sponsored doping system. It is clear that an unconditional recognition of the McLaren report is impossible, Zhukov said. Such a requirement cannot, and should not serve as an obstacle to the full compliance of Rosada. The Kremlin also repeated the denial of any government backing for dopers. Story continues below advertisement. Story continues below advertisement. Wada's decision was unpleasant news. We disagree with this decision and consider it unfair, said Dmitry Peskov, a spokesman for Russian President Vladimir Putin. We intend to continue contacts with the international sports community and organizations to defend Russia's positions. We are preparing for the Olympics. Meanwhile, the honorary president of the Russian Olympic Committee, Leonid Tyagachev, told Kavorit Moskva Radio that the key whistleblower on the Sochi scandal, former Moscow lab director Grigory Rodenkov simply needs to be shot for his untruths. If we are insulted undeservedly, then we don't want those kinds of Olympics and that kind of relationship, said Tyagachev, who no longer wields decision-making power in the Russian Olympic hierarchy. We will not kneel. USADA chief executive Travis Tigert described the latest development as another sad moment in this entire sordid affair. There was really no other outcome, based on their unwillingness to admit what the flood of evidence proves, Tigert said. Now clean athletes are watching anxiously to see if the IOC similarly will take action to finally stand up for their rights or not. Before last year's Summer Olympics in Rio, WADA recommended a complete ban of the Russian team but the IOC refused to go along, instead allowing individual sports federations to determine eligibility of the athletes.